first became chief rabbi, the, the prime minister of Britain was John Major. And we knew, you got to know John Major, and we, we had the Zahus of being with him in 10 Downing Street. But the day came when he sent Elena and myself the, our first invitation to be with him at, the, at his country house. The prime minister has a country house called Chequers. It must be like your camp, David. And, and we were really looking forward to it, really looking forward to it. And then we had an invitation to do something else on the same day at the same time to open a new Jewish day school, not one of mine, a Haredi Jewish day school. So I thought to myself, which takes priority uh, having lunch with the Prime Minister, Czechos are opening a new Jewish day school. So, let's open a book and see. When it comes to Jewish day schools, a town that doesn't have day school, you excommunicate it because the whole universe only exists in virtue of the sound of Jewish children. Of this. So when it's a standoff between society and the universe, the universe wins, we said, no thank you to the Prime Minister, and I went to open the Jewish Day School. That is part one of the story. However, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Ein HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Shel Kol Beri, Hashem always makes sure you eventually get your reward. And therefore, a couple of years later, we get the second invitation. This time, would Elaine and I come and have dinner with the Prime Minister because he's entertaining the French President, who was Monsieur Jacques Chirac. So we finally got to check his little uh, 60 people for, uh, for, for dinner, uh, little round tables with eight people per table, and we weren't sitting at the top table, uh, at the middle table, whatever it was. At the end of the meal, John Major comes rushing over, and he says, Jonathan, I'm so sorry. We wanted you to be on the top table, but Monsieur Shirai brought one of his uh, aides, and we didn't have room. So now I want you to have quality time with the French president, come into my study and I will, I will t leave the two of you alone and you'll have a little conversation together. So he takes Monsieur Chirac and myself into his study in Chequers and uh, he's just about to leave. When Jacques Chirac says, John, stay, I want, I want you to hear this. And he then proceeded to give me an extraordinary talk about the importance of Jewish day school. <laughs> he was explaining to me how, before he was president of France, he was mayor of Paris, and he gave all the land to various people, Otsar Torah, Chabad, to build Jewish day schools. He said, they complain, I am always favoring the Jewish, the right wing of the community, but I have to favor them because they care more about education than the left wing of the community, etc., etc. And I am sitting, and I come back to Elaine, open mouth, and I said, I have just heard the President of France give a lecture to the Prime Minister of Great Britain about the importance of Jewish day schools. I've said we've done the easy part. We've converted the Goyim. Now comes the hard part. We have to convert the Yid. So, but Baruch Hashem, we managed that as well. And so, Baruch Hashem, we now have a community in which Rof Hatzibu send their kids to Jewish day schools. And it is beautiful. And now comes the problem. We have built the buildings, but what about the builders? We built the schools, but what about the teachers? How will we educate those who educate others? How will we, will we inspire people who will inspire others? And that's where Yeshiva Haaretzion comes in, because they are the people who do just this. And I have to tell you, our best Rabbonim and our best Machanchim, forget about America for a moment, forget about Israel for a moment, in a little tiny Eckfeld called Anglo Jury, our best Rabbonim and our best Machanchim come from Haaretz Zion, and our best Talmidim and our best Talmidot we send to Haaretz Zion. Because there we find Torah being taught in a way that is unafraid to relate to the world, in which people learn to relate to others Bashem Sham without being judgmental, without being, you know. And the Torah that emerges from Haaretzion, from Rav Lichtenstein and Rav Lichtenstein and Rav Gigi and Rav Medan and the others is something very special. And Rav Valmital, of course. Friends, that is the importance of Haaretzion. 
It is such a great yeshiva, and I want you to know how we benefit from it, and how, because of the graduates of Haaretzion and the ladies who are educated there, we will have, at least in our community, a generation of Jews who know and love Torah and go out there unafraid to live it in the eyes of their fellow Jews, in the eyes of non-Jews. <coughs> and this I have discovered. Non-Jews respect Jews who respect Judaism. And that is the great message. So I am just privileged to be able to say my thank you to the yeshiva and its Russia yeshiva and to say thank you for all you've done for us. May you continue to be a blessing to Am Yisrael and Eretz Yisrael. Amen. 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 Amen.